is there a supernatural dimension? A world beyond the one we know? Is there life after death? Do angels exist? Can our dreams contain messages from heaven? Can we tap into ancient secrets of the supernatural? Are healing miracles real? Sid Roth has spent over 35 years researching the strange world of the supernatural. Join Sid for this edition of It's Supernatural. Hello, Sid Roth here. Welcome to my world where it's naturally supernatural. Welcome to Miracle Explosion. Why do I say Miracle Explosion? Because I have three people that operate in the gift of miracles, and any one by themselves would have been enough. But when you put these three together, one could put a thousand to flee, but two can put 10,000 to flee. What can three people that operate in miracles? Here's what I know. We're going to have more miracles than we've ever had in the history of our ministry. You, you know, when I, I'll tell you, this is one of the best audiences we have ever had. <laughs> Are you ready for a miracle explosion? <laughs> I can't think of a better guest to have for miracle explosion than Joan Hunter. And uh, but my staff, they're smart. They mm -hmm. looked up the word explosion, Joan in the dictionary. Listen to this definition. Remember, it's a miracle explosion. The dictionary defines explosion as the sudden, boy, do I like that word, <laughs> the sudden, loud, or violent release of energy or power that happens when something breaks loose. I tell you, something's going to break loose here. John, are you, are you as convinced as me? Yes. Now, some people don't know you that well. I know you well. We've interviewed you a number of times, and I've interviewed your parents. And I don't know anyone else that has had so many miracles worldwide as the Happy Hunters. But you are building on their legacy. Mm -hmm. But you told me that things are even getting stronger in the miraculous for you. For instance, tell me a few things that have happened recently. Well, it's, I love praying for people with fibromyalgia. I love praying for people. What, what, what? There's no cure for that. What do you mean fibromyalgia? In the natural, there's no cure, but with God, there is. You know, and, and there's no cure for people that have gone through hell, people that have been diagnosed with PTSD. There's no cure for bipolar schizophrenia. Do many people with fibromyalgia get healed through the power of God that you've witnessed with your very eyes? Um, I don't deal with the fibromyalgia first. I deal what opened the door to fibromyalgia. But now, God showed you a key that I, I don't think too many people understand to healing that I believe is what has stopped you from being healing already. And Joan's going to release it now. And this is an incredible revelation that God has given me years ago um, because when I went through the hell, my own personal hell in my life, and I had to deal with uh, divorce, breast cancer, financial ruins, and the whole bit, all really all the same week, that, and then I go and I get diagnosed with breast cancer. And I'm like dying on the inside. I could care less about the breast cancer. And, but I was dying on the inside. And I had to go for, after God's heart, counselor said, you'll never get well. You know, everybody I went to, nobody said, nobody gave me any hope but the word of God. And so I went in and I said, God, what is it in here that, that has triggered the breast cancer? And so when I got my heart healed of, of the trauma that I had gone through, betrayal, abandonment, worry, with the capital W, okay? And all that, when I got my heart healed, the breast cancer went away. And so when I, and I, I teach people how to starve their sicknesses to death because this is so important. Jesus has come to heal. 
He's come to heal not just your heart, I'm not just your body, but your body, mind, soul, spirit, and finances. God wants you healed. We've all been traumatized in some form or fashion through life, through birth, through, you know, just different situations. And that stronghold can hold on to the sickness. So in, I'm going to pray for you to get free of any kind of trauma. And you think, well, it can't be that easy. It's 35 years ago. It can't be that easy. Well, first of all, close your mouth and say, yes, it can be that easy. How can I do that with my mouth closed? Yes. <laughs> and so, Father, right now, in the name of Jesus, I send the word of healing as there are so many people watching right this moment who have been traumatized, who've had their heart hurt, who've had their bodies hurt, and they, they get better, they get better, they get better, but not whole. Father, in the name of Jesus, remove all the trauma in their heart, all the trauma. I'm, I'm sensing even trauma to the lungs, like being pushed like that. All the trauma in the chest area. And Father, right now, in the name of Jesus, all the trauma in the necks, down the spine, command all of that to go, all the pain to go, all the cellular memory of it to go. And Father, I speak complete supernatural freedom. Any damage that stress has caused in their life, throughout their body, digestive system, I speak complete health and wholeness, resurrection to some of your body parts that have quit, in particular uh, the kidneys. They're just kind of shutting down. I speak resurrection life into those kidneys, into those hearts, the physical hearts, to rise and be brand new in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. The glory to God. Woohoo! Real quick, uh, you have a favorite scripture in teaching called Hidden Treasures of Healing. I believe God for some hidden treasures, any lost whatevers, lost finances, um, lost ideas, lost family members, whatever, and Father, bring it to me. So I get a letter in the mail and it says, you don't owe any money on your building downtown Houston. <laughs> no joke. I mean, hello, I don't own a building downtown Houston. You know, so I thought, well, they didn't ask me for any money. So I sent a certified letter to find out what was going on. Come to find out, my dad left me 2% in a building downtown Houston. So when that sells, I'm going to be a millionaire. Glory to God. And yes, it's Supernatural is going to get a blessing too. Oh, so, good. Yes. Wow. And uh, let me tell you about this woman that's coming up next. Uh, Clarice was healed in a Catherine Coleman meeting. A few days later, she not realizing it, she goes into an elevator and everyone in the elevator falls out under the power of God. We're going to be right back. <laughs> If you love watching our It's Supernatural! TV program, you can now watch hundreds of archive programs online, 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, on your computer, your smartphone, your iPad, or your favorite tablet. ISN will be the vehicle to equip you to being normal. Normal as defined by the Bible. Just log on to SidRoth.org forward slash ISN. set now is Dr. Clarice Fluitt. She would have died without God touching your life. What was wrong with you? I had tuberculosis and I had asthma and just about every kind of uh, allergic condition that you could have. And I read about this woman, Catherine Kuhlman. She was going to the Full Gospel Businessman in Dallas. This is 1971, September. And I said to my husband, I said, honey, there is this woman that prays for the sick. And I said, it's just amazing what happens. He says, sweetheart, I don't want to disappoint you, but God doesn't use women. <laughs> uh, that which he feared has come upon him. <laughs> but he said, because I love you, I'll take you. But he says, you know, he says, this is all you know, psychological and money making. And he was very doubting, very dubious. But we went to, uh, went there. And so there's this woman named Maggie and she passes by and she looks at me and she said, the spirit of God is on you and you're being healed. Well, she scared me so bad. Uh, the on <laughs> only person that I knew that was scarier than her was Catherine Kuhlman. She comes <laughs> She comes in, she's got this little red fuzzy hair, and she says, have you been waiting long? <laughs> you know, I, said, ah! I lost George wherever he was. And, uh, and so she's just doing what she's doing, Holy Spirit. And my husband told me, she says, I don't want anybody that's dramatic 
And look what he got. But I mean, <laughs> the, the, but, so uh, the, when Maggie came and said, you're being healed, I said, no, there's nothing wrong. Not only was I sick, I was lying on top of it. <laughs> I, I went because I, I was not, I was so desirous to be healed. By this time, Catherine Cooper said, oh, he said, there's a woman, and her finger looked like it went 5,000 feet long, and <laughs> put out, and she said, she's so stubborn, it will take a sign, and it was like somebody zipped off my head and poured hot oil, and then I started doing the St. Vitus dance over here, and... Uh, was that a norm I, for you? Not for me. I was very dignified. <laughs> uh, but I lost my dignity and got my deliverance. <laughs> But she calls, and so Maggie comes back, and I'm sitting here doing this, and she said, are you going to go up and claim your healing? I thought, well, the next thing, you're going to kill me. I'm going up. You know, there, there, somebody has a buzzer. But it's, uh, I went up, and Catherine Cooper has turned around, and she looked at me, and she said, oh, dear Jesus. And she put both hands on me. She says, oh, dear Jesus, everything I have, I give it to her. Well, I had no idea what... I had no idea what she was saying, but I did know this, that some force picked me up and threw me 15 feet across the room and I landed under Dino's piano. On the piano? Under it. Under it. Under it. <laughs> Sweetest place in the world. And there, while, while I was under there, well, at the end of it, my husband comes up and he says, what happened to you? And I said, I don't know. And so that, it was right after that, we're walking through the melee of people, thousands of people getting in and out. And we got on the elevator immediately but, after. But, but, but were you healed at that moment? Instantly. Instantly. That was 1971. And I've never had, never had asthma. I've never had all the allergies left. All, everything left. No TB, not even TB scars. They were gone. Yay, okay. God. I agree. Yay, God. It's, it wasn't Catherine Coleman. It was the Messiah of Israel operating through her. I mean, we got on the elevator, and there were about, oh, about maybe 12 people in the elevator. And when I walked in, everybody passed out. And my husband said, what'd you do? And I said, I don't know. And I, <laughs> so he said, well, you have to take the stairs. And so, he, 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 so we're walking down the stairs, and people, blah, 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 blah. And for six months, everywhere I went, the grocery store, the drug store, Anytime you'd get within three feet of people, they'd be slain in the spirit. Now, I didn't know what Did your that, husband just keep you in a closet locked up? He said, I've got to hide you away. Something has happened. <laughs> but see, we did not know when she said, everything I'm carrying, it's been imparted to you. Paul says, I long to be with you that I can impart to you a spiritual blessing that will equip you till the end. You're telling yes. me last time you were on the on our television show, something so supernatural, someone called you, but they couldn't have your number. They couldn't have your husband's cell number. It's not listed. How did they get to you? All right, this you? is what happened. After being with you, I had to hire somebody to answer my phone. I mean, people, they were calling from yeah, Mars. Yeah, but there's an unemployment this, problem I'm in America, you, so, so we're just <laughs> trying to help. I Every mean, little bit helps. All <laughs> over the world, we had this, I had this lady call, and she was telling me that her son was dying and had a heart disease, and we would just send out cloths and do things like that. They call right back uh, within a week and said the child was completely healed. The doctor's given a complete report, very serious death sentence in that child. But this is the humor of God. God has an incredible sense of humor. And this is what happened. This woman called and she said to, to my secretary that was answering the phone, says, I want to talk to that woman. And she said, I saw her on Sid Roth and she does miracles and I want to talk to her. And my, my associate said, well, she's not available. She's in a meeting right now. And you talk about importunity. About 15 minutes went, go, went by and she called again. She said, she out of that meeting yet? And she said, no, she's not out of the meeting. And she says, well, you need to go get her out. She said, this is serious. I need her now. And so they came in. They said, there's this woman that's really persistent. And I said, well, I mean, we had calls everywhere, Sid. And I'm trying my best to say which ones you're supposed to, you know, go to. So I have my office in my home. And I went into the, to, to a den. And I sat down. And my husband's cell phone was sitting here next to me. And it rang. And, and, and I thought, well, this is one of the kids. We have five children. I said, I, and I picked the phone up. And this woman said, is that you? <laughs> <laughs> and I said, Yes. Well, I said, how'd you get this number? She says, I prayed and God said, call this number. And she's, so I said, what are you going to do? I'm going to take the call. I'm going to take the call. My next guest, Joan Beeson. 
Joan is affectionately called the miracle lady oh, yes. because she pulls people out of wheelchairs. Wow. That's a passion. Anyone hurting, I talk about an anointing, and you know what we're going to have? A miracle explosion. <laughs> Call now and get the Miracle Explosion Package, which includes Joan Hunter's brand new book, Prayers and Promises for Healing, plus our three-part audio CD set, What I've Learned About Healing and Miracles, with Clarice Fluid, Joan Giesen, and Joan Hunter, exclusive for our It's Supernatural audience. Yours for a donation of $35. Shipping and handling is included. Ask for offer number 9413. Joan Hunter's brand new book, Prayers and Promises for Healing, will quickly become your everyday guide for accessing all of God's promises to overcome everything from abuse, loneliness, demonic oppression, fear, sleep disorders, depression, anger, addictions, and so much more. There are 51 different intimate prayers and powerful declarations included in this book to help you receive your supernatural breakthroughs in the areas of healing, deliverance, relationships, finances, justice, salvation, and so much more. Plus, receive our three-part audio CD set, What I've Learned About Healing and Miracles for our It's Supernatural audience. It includes anointed messages from three powerful women of faith and miracles. Through Clarice Fluid's audio CD, you will understand that nothing is impossible with God. A miracle is a sovereign move of God. Healing and miracles are not limited to time and space. There are no formulas for miracles and how they happen. Through Joan Hunter's audio CD, you will learn how to quickly deal with the root of trauma in order to get your healing. Take the pain away from painful memories. Bring your words into agreement with God's Word and receive His blessings for your life. Through Joan Giesen's audio CD, you will understand that miracles are for today and they are everywhere. Jesus will never pass you by. Miracles will happen in you as well as flow through you. Get ready to receive your breakthrough, your healing, your miracle. Don't miss out on getting the Miracle Explosion Package, which includes Joan Hunter's brand new book, Prayers and Promises for Healing, plus our three-part audio CD set, What I've Learned About Healing and Miracles, with Clarice Fluid, Joan Giesen, and Joan Hunter, exclusive for our It's Supernatural audience. Yours for a donation of $35. Shipping and handling is included. Ask for offer number 9413. Call or you can send your check to Sid Roth, It's Supernatural, P.O. Box 39222, Charlotte, North Carolina, 28278. Please specify offer number 9413 or log on to SidRoth.org. Call or write today. Well, I have Joan Deason here, and many of you might recognize her. If you've ever seen Benny Hinn on television and you've seen a woman with a microphone and she says, Pastor Benny, this person's just been healed of this. Or they've been, that's Joan Giesen. <laughs> but there's something you don't know. She is affectionately called the miracle woman. She, uh, she, she walks around and sees the presence of God on someone and knows a miracle is ready to take place. Uh, Joan, it's hard to believe, but there was a point you have two small children, you're married, and all of a sudden you're blind, and all of a sudden the doctors say, you're not going to live, you're going to die. Tell me about that time. That makes me cry when you even say that, and it's been so long ago. We got married, an Italian with a big wedding. It was a perfect wedding. And it was a little bit later that I conceived of our first child. And he was born and he was beautiful. We named him Michael, and he was the apple of our eye. And he was good, and he grew up a little bit. He was about two years old, and one day I stooped over to pick up something he had dropped. And when I straightened back up, I couldn't see. I had gone blind. Well, literally, it scared the bejiggers out I'm of sure. me. sure. Within the next two weeks, I saw probably 15 doctors, and they found hemorrhages behind both eyes, and the optic nerve was swollen into the brain. 
and they didn't know what the cause was, what would happen, how it would work, but the rest of my body is deteriorating while all that is happening. Mm. One day I am a productive wife and a mother and the next day I can't see and can't do the housework. Four years it went like that. Four years and now it was time for Michael to go to school, first day in school. He helped me on the bus and I sat outside the room of the school, the room that he mm -hmm. went in, in the hall. The teacher came out in the room that Michael was in and said, Joan, Michael's sick. You're going to have to take him home. I said, Judy, I don't see, I don't drive, I can't do that. And with that, the lady that I had seen in my spirit was at my side and said, I heard what you said, I'll be glad to take you home. On the way home, that lady led me to Jesus and it was the first time. You get born again, and you only know the term because she uses it. That's exactly right. And you right. tell your husband, he thinks you're a little, I'll use a Hebrew word even though you're Italian, he, was, he thinks you're a bissel mashuka, a little crazy. Or uh, in Italian, it's bazza. Same thing, <laughs> okay, and you heard a voice. What did that voice say well, on the radio? Well, that was a few days later. Uh, no, I know, I want to get I'm there. sitting at the table <laughs> and I'm waiting for Michael to come home on the bus. And all of a sudden I hear this voice say, hello there, have you been waiting for me? Well, that wasn't a Lutheran voice. <laughs> it scared the bejiggers out of me. I quickly turned the radio off. Second day I heard the same voice, hello there. I mean, <laughs> boy, I turned that thing off. And the third day I didn't hear that. I heard a woman say, I was so ill, the doctor said I was going to die. And all I did was lift my hands and God healed me in that service. Well, I listened till the end of the program. It said, this is coming to you from the Catherine Kuhlman Foundation in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. I called Frank and I said, Frank, get home. Jesus right now is in Pittsburgh healing people. <laughs> Don't say that when I'm drinking. Well, I did, I did. Well, the courtyard of that first Presbyterian church in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania was full. When the doors opened, everyone just pushed us. We weren't accustomed to anything like that. Nobody ever sat on the front seat of our Lutheran church. Nobody sat <laughs> no on the middle to. seat. No, and now they're pushing us in. And we get in and we sit there and I'm saying, Frank, Frank, there's a light on my head. Tell him to turn off the light. Oh my God. Well, well, well you're imagine? blind. I'm you blind. See, you still see I'm a light blind. on your head. I am lit up like a Christmas tree. I can <laughs> feel that. Frank, there's a light on my head. No, honey, open your eyes. There's no light on your head. Frank, tell him to turn the light off. Please, Joan, you're scaring me. There is no light on your head. And when I open my eyes, sir, I could see all the way to the altar. I could see the stained glass windows. I could see the multitude of people. And I was in the 53rd row and I could see everything. I said, Frank, I can see. He said, no, you can't. <laughs> I said, what? I mean, we're totally displaced. We knew nothing of this territory. Frank, I can't, I can see. No, you can't stop it, Joan. And I said, Frank, I can see that you've got a blue shirt on, you've got a gray. You can see, yes, this is what we've come for. And on the way home in the car, I said, Frank, I am gonna go home and get every sick person I know. We're going to charter a bus or a truck or a car or how many ever come with us. And we're going to take them to another how, miracle service. How many years did you assist Miss Coleman? Nine and a half years until the day she went home to be with Jesus. And Jean Martin, which was her manager, called us and said, from the hospital, he said, I am in the hospital with Miss Coleman. And she said, Joan, get prepared because yours is the next service that she's going to have in St. Louis. Mm, I'll what tell a you thrill. What. I tell you this, your miracle is in the bank! Yeah. <laughs>
Call now and get the Miracle Explosion Package, which includes Joan Hunter's brand new book, Prayers and Promises for Healing, plus our three-part audio CD set, What I've Learned About Healing and Miracles, with Clarice Fluid, Joan Giesen, and Joan Hunter, exclusive for our It's Supernatural audience. Yours for a donation of $35. Shipping and handling is included. Ask for offer number 9413. Joan Hunter's brand new book, Prayers and Promises for Healing, will quickly become your everyday guide for accessing all of God's promises to overcome everything from abuse, loneliness, demonic oppression, fear, sleep disorders, depression, anger, addictions, and so much more. There are 51 different intimate prayers and powerful declarations included in this book to help you receive your supernatural breakthroughs in the areas of healing, deliverance, relationships, finances, justice, salvation, and so much much more. Plus, receive our three-part audio CD set, What I've Learned About Healing and Miracles, for our It's Supernatural audience. It includes anointed messages from three powerful women of faith and miracles. Clarice Fluid is a proven prophetess with laser-like accuracy. Through her audio CD, you will understand that a miracle is a sovereign move of God. Healing and miracles are not limited to time and space. There are no formulas for miracles and how they happen. God is no respecter of persons. Joan Hunter continues to operate in the same anointing for healing her parents Charles and Francis Hunter operated in. And she has trained thousands more on how to pray for others to receive their supernatural breakthrough. Through her audio CD, you will understand what is blocking your breakthrough and jumpstart your healing. Take the pain away from painful memories. Bring your words into agreement with God's Word and receive His blessings for your life. Begin to be used by God to heal others. Joan Giesen worked with Catherine Coleman and Benny Hinn and was known as the Miracle Lady because of the many people in the audience that were healed as she prayed for them. Through her audio CD, you will understand that nothing is impossible with God. Miracles are for today and they are everywhere. Jesus will never pass you by. Miracles will happen in you as well as flow through you. Get ready to receive your breakthrough, your healing, your miracle. Don't miss out on getting the Miracle Explosion Package, which includes Joan Hunter's brand new book, Prayers and Promises for Healing, plus our three-part audio CD set, What I've Learned About Healing and Miracles, with Clarice Fluid, Joan Giesen, and Joan Hunter, exclusive for our It's Supernatural audience. Yours for a donation of $35. Shipping and handling is included. Ask for offer number 9413. Call or you can send your check to Sid Roth, It's Supernatural, P.O. Box 39222, Charlotte, North Carolina, 28278. Please specify offer number 9413 or log on to SidRoth.org. Call or write today. Next week on It's Supernatural. Hello, Sid Roth here, speaking to you from the most supernatural land in the world, Jerusalem, Israel. My guest is supernaturally equipped by God to help you not just have experiential knowledge with God, but she operates in what is known as creative miracles. Your gifts to this ministry will help Sid air It's Supernatural in Israel 28 times a week and distribute his evangelistic book to the Jewish people worldwide.